guys welcome back to true flutter tv if this is your first time here you're absolutely welcome my name is Vivi, and it's nice to have you guys here and if you're a returning subscriber hi it's nice to see you again so last week we had um, an update on the true flutter app and since then we noticed that a lot of people have been having more dates and a lot of matches have been happening and you know many positive reviews i thought to create a video for you guys especially for my girls that are going to going out on dates you know just so you guys can stay safe especially when it's your first date and you don't really know the guy like that because <laughs> things are happening okay okay so the first way to stay safe on a date is even before you go out on a date you have to always make sure that you share your location and details of where you're going to with your friends close friends family members people in your very close circle just let someone else know where you're going i know sometimes we want to keep our private life private but then this is your private life and your life so you definitely want to make sure that you are safe by letting someone else know where you're going who you're going with if you can send a picture of the guy to your friends that would be great i know you want to keep your life private but then this is for your safety okay at least let one person know where you're going to so that if anything happens they know exactly how to find you and where to find you share your location then the second tip is never leave your drink unattended i think that every girl at this point knows this but just in case you did not know you should never leave your drink unattended and under this should be never just get a drink from a bartender always make sure that you watch your drink get poured into your glass and you've looked into your glass before they pour your drink because you know many things are happening your drink could easily get dropped anything can happen something could be dropped in your drink you know if you take your eyes off your drink then don't drink it again that's just my recommendation and then if you go out on a date with somebody that is nudging you to drink and you know you can't handle your alcohol or for some reason they weren't nudging you to drink before but then all of a sudden they're like take your drink now have a sip now what happens to finish drink here no finish your drink that is a red flag do not just just say no i like water instead buy bottle water and open it there and then so that like better safe than sorry the person might not have done anything to your drink but just to be on the safe side so the third tip is to always make sure that your phone is fully charged for different reasons but mostly for safety you know you don't want to go somewhere and then you can't order an uber when you want to leave because your battery is low or you're depending on the person that you went out on a date with or your dates to help you order an uber because your battery is low no just to be on the safe side in case anything happens it's better to just have your phone charged and yes i know some phones batteries don't last or whatever get a power bank even if you have to buy one that day buy one it's very important to just make sure that your phone is charged so the fourth tip is to always meet at a public place or somewhere that you're familiar with don't go to anybody's house on the first date it's not wisdom is what's that thing wisdom is profitable to direct don't go to the guy's house on the first date no matter how friendly you are no matter how much you pull vibe no dear you vibe to your grave don't go to his house on the first date you the guys who don't go to a house on the first day it's just guys that are watching it's not it's not recommended and don't go to some backyard restaurants that is like low key low key low key other than low key stuff no like just stay safe this is the first date if this person is someone that's promising you guys will have many more dates and you'll probably even get married so you have all the time in the world to do all these low key things don't go to anybody's house train station a whole other state for a first date please you guys please be careful the world is a crazy place i beg the very last tip is to trust your intuition you know how sometimes you just know that ah, something is off i just don't feel ah, i feel like i should leave or i feel like ah, i don't know if you see sketchy things happening around you or you just feel like the vibe is off or it's time to start going home please stand up and go home many times your intuition can sense things before you're even aware of it physically so once your brain or your body or your mind starts telling you stand up and move stand up and move most times there's something happening that you're not even fully aware of yet so once you start to feel unsafe uneasy um uncomfortable find a way to just politely excuse yourself and leave the situation basically the message here is it's better safe than sorry i know you guys are excited to meet these people that you're matching with on the app but please be safe please be careful you know take all the safety measures you can take share your location with your friends send your um people details of the person you're going out with don't leave your drink unattended you know all these things i've said in this video please 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 please, please. we don't want to hear any bad stories or any sad stories just good news wedding party notification that's all we're here for okay so if you found this video useful please share it to your friends you know be your sister's keeper 
share it and yeah if you haven't downloaded the true flutter app you're missing you're missing out on a lot so download the true flutter app share the app with your friends with your single friends with everybody you know that is not yet married okay so till i come your way again my name is baby and i'll see you in our next video bye Thank <laughs> you.